Well, the 75th Sydney Hobart Yacht Race is underway. More than 150 yachts are taking part in the race, making it one of the biggest in history. Joining me live now is Jeff Smith from Fox Sports News. Jeff, what's happened so far? Well, it's been a pretty interesting start so far. So Info Track, one of the five supermaxes in this race, uh, was first uh, past the, the marker. Um, so that took about 8 minutes, 26 seconds. Closely followed behind for Info, um, by Scallywag and Wild Oats 11, who were aiming for a 10th line on his victory. They went past neck and neck, so uh, certainly putting the pressure on Info Track as they head out past the heads. Comanche, uh, the, the race record holder from 2017, missed the start by, by a little bit, so uh, gave the guys uh, in front of them a bit of a head start. So they've got a little bit of work to do um, as they uh, make their way out past the heads. So Itchy Ban, um, a real contender for the overall uh, classification. It had a pretty good start as well, so uh, they'll be happy with that and hopefully uh, they'll be hoping they can keep pace as they head out through the heads. Yeah, awesome. It's always so exciting uh, seeing them go out past the heads there. But what is beyond that? What happens uh, for the next few hours for them? So now they've got some pretty fast racing ahead of them. So we're expecting conditions up to sort of 20, nearly 30 knots uh, north northeasterly winds down the, the east coast of New South Wales, which is going to be uh, perfect for the big boats like Comanche that can really get going. So the Supermaxes will really uh, head down pretty fast. Then it's all about this southerly wind that's going to really um, hit them in the face yeah. as they get down towards the real south coast of New South Wales. Um, and that'll bring a boat into it a bit like an info track. That'll enjoy that. So that can make the most of this. This uh, little lead it's got at the moment. Enjoy these northeasterly winds, um, and then uh, that'll really enjoy a little southerly change as well. Then it's into Bass Strait, uh, which we know is a pretty treacherous bit of water. Uh, and then the Derwent River. Last year we saw four supermaxes in the Derwent River at once. Uh, perhaps this year we'll see something similar. Fingers crossed. It always makes for an exciting finish. Thanks for the update there, Jeff.